Hi guys, I am Claribel Guerra and welcome to Mob Crush in the Mix. Have you ever wanted to see the best performances from your favorite Mob Crush streamers in one central location? Well, we've done the hard work for you. We've gathered the best plays from your favorite streamers and divided them up into three categories. Clutch comebacks, dominating performances, and entertaining moments. Find out who made it on this week's list coming up next. Our first clip showcases Singh playing Arena of Valor's Tillanis. While finishing off a Sage Golem, a team fight breaks out after an enemy defense tower was brought down. Rushing into the fight, Singh promptly uses Eagle Eye, an ability increasing your range and allowing you to safely keep your distance from enemy assassins while still being able to deal consistent damage. Moments thereafter, everything goes wrong. Teammates start dropping one right after the other, after the other, after the other. Butterfly, Grak, Xanus, and Valheim are dead. Being left all alone, Singh has no choice but to fight and kills off an enemy, then attacks the next and kills them off as well. Suddenly, you see four enemies are lying dead on the ground. The onslaught, however, doesn't end there. Here's the vital part. Singh is able to push and destroy the inner tower only because Talanis' eagle eye allows her to outrange the towers and siege them. No other hero in this game can do this. This is truly a comeback of epic proportions. Set in a nail-biting 5v5 game of Vainglory, Truffles finds herself on the losing side of a team fight. Her and her ally Alpha are being attacked, and in a fit of rage, Alpha gets a little too close to the turret thinking that she can finish off the enemy Grace. Instead, she ends up having to retreat after taking a hefty amount of damage. The enemy Ozo is able to quickly finish Alpha off. Truffles is piloting Adagio and is left to fend for herself. Her ally Koshka is close, but not close enough. Truffles uses Verse of Judgment as Oso and Grace begin to trail her. Ozo blocks her ult and begins to run away, but Koshka quickly catches up and reduces him to a sliver of health. Thanks to this incredible setup, she paved the way for Koshka to perform a beastly triple kill. Nicely done, Truffles. Triple kill. So mundane. I'll hold that. Our next clip shows Awaken ranking critical ops and playing as if he's going to star in the next action film with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, just like in your typical action movie, this place starts off with Awaken emerging from the smoke and ready to take down all those who oppose him. His teammates are falling left and right, and yet he shows that he can keep his cool in the wake of danger. He's being hunted down and slowly surrounded by the enemy. He's hungry for revenge and nothing's gonna stop him. He turns the tables and bang, 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 bang. Hasta la vista, baby. All four of his remaining adversaries are dead. Our last comeback stars fully, playing Arena of Valor's Wonder Woman. As he's running around the map defeating a wave of minions, he sees that his allies have been spotted out by the enemy and are taking quite the beating. He runs to the rescue, valiantly charging into his opponents like an Amazon. He doesn't break under pressure and is able to both tank and survive a wave of enemy ultimates. He takes hit after hit and even though he's left with little health, he doesn't fall. Without giving up, he relentlessly keeps attacking his enemies until he can't take any more and is left to retreat while his allies finish the job. Double kill! Our first dominating performance highlights the vainglorious Zanjas outplaying his opponents with a Baptiste. All three enemies foolishly give chase to the retreating ally team. And I can see why though, it's a 3v2 that should go the enemy's way. Zanjas is left to fend off Arden and Ringo as Grace separates Sky from her team as she moves up to the lane. Sure to lose, Zanjas had already popped a flask, but he starts to attack the healing chain to try and win it from the enemy Arden. His health is dangerously low, and even though he didn't get the treant, his heroic perk is what caused him to heal quickly, allowing him to reap soul, which heals and empowers him. He's then able to chase down and kill his enemies. That's definitely one way to throw some shade. In the following clip, Grandmaster It's Jordan shows us how to finish off a team the right way and rules of survival. 
He starts off by dropping off a shooter from afar while the rest of the enemy team tries to escape to safety in a buggy. They end up coming back to try and save their fallen comrade. Unfortunately for them, Jordan rushes to the left and flanks his opponents as they are coming back. They're left oblivious to his position and Jordan starts firing and starts dropping his foes one by one. He never kills them, only drops them and in a matter of seconds is able to land four kills. Remember guys, dropping an enemy poses no danger to you, so why not use a fallen enemy teammate to lure out the rest of the enemy? This is a great tactic to easily take down teams, but beware, this can and definitely will be used against you when you go in and aid an ally yourself. So make sure it's safe when picking up a downed teammate. The following clip is a shining example of stellar skills by Black City. She's playing Vainglory Celeste and is on the back line of a team fight, trying to land an attack or two, but she doesn't quite fully commit. Celeste, Vox, and Orden start to retreat because if they stay, they will definitely lose. As the family is running towards the base, Arden is smart enough to bring down the gauntlet, giving his kids the protection they need to run to safety. Black City makes it home, dashes to the edge of the base, and starts dropping heliogenesis like no one's business. She's trying to desperately save Arden, as Vox also gives it his all. She sees that the enemies are perfectly aligned for her ultimate. She takes control of the fight and swiftly unleashes Solar Storm. It's not enough to save Arden, but it's enough to melt her enemy's health bars and make them start to run away. Both her and Vox hunt down the enemy and avenge their father's death. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In our next clip, Yuni exemplifies the virtues required to become the last man standing in Rules of Survival. The stakes are high, and this is a classic duel between two players that are both hungry for the win. Yuni's enemy is hidden from sight, and Yuni is desperately trying to find him in the grass somewhere ahead of him while dodging bullets. He trusts his instincts and throws a Molotov, forcing his enemy to stop firing at him. After a few moments of much needed rest, Yuni starts shooting aimlessly, waiting to see if he lands a shot. And as soon as he does, he begins to spray the grass with a water hose of bullets and makes sure that his enemy stays down and gets the win. If only I could be this lucky in Rules of Survival. Don't you just hate it when there's an obstacle preventing you from doing something that you really, really want to do? Well, Sophos Gaming can most definitely relate. He's running around the map and spots an enemy behind a brick wall in Fortnite. He starts shooting at the wall, causing it to tumble, revealing his opponent who is hacking away at his escape. The enemy is able to break down the wall and books it. Sophos begins the chase. Comically, however, every time he tries to shoot his enemy, he hits a brick wall, literally. His opponent makes clever use of the game mechanics by building wall after wall after wall in order to trump Sophos Gaming. So sad, I can feel your frustration. No game's outcome is determined by skill more than Hearthstone. Eh, okay, maybe not. But in this high legend game, you can definitely taste the salt from a mile away. Mr. Q's opponent knows that he is no match for the sheer skill of Mr. Q, or rather, his amazing luck. When he sees the masterful heavy execution play by Mr. Q, when call to arms on curve is combined with perfect knife juggler hits, he immediately calls it quits and drops the salt. In our final clip, Melon Rap is clinging to his dear life and he is desperately trying to crawl out of the eye of the storm. Things are looking very grim for this Fortnite streamer. His health bar is dangerously low and it's dropping very quickly. The next moments are spent in agony. He's holding on to every bit of hope that he can. He's inching forward slowly as he's crying out. He doesn't lose hope, but his screams of terror can be heard from all over. He cries and crawls and crawls and cries in despair. Miraculously, however, he makes it out and his ally is patiently waiting to help him. The timing was just perfect. Everything fell into place. Thank you. You're such a cutie. Holy... We're alive, boys. We alive. We alive. And that is all that we have for you this week. If you want to be featured on our show, all you have to do is send us broadcast links, timestamps, and a short description as to why we should pick your amazing play to the email address below. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you guys next week.